Massive protests are underway in France right now, where May Day has prompted demonstrations across the country. This is adding to widespread fury over President Macron ramming through his plan to raise the retirement age from 62 to 64. NBC News chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel is on the streets of Paris. Richard, it's mayhem there. <laughs> Well, we are in Place de la Nation, which is the end point of the demonstrators. And here there have been running clashes for the last hour or so between demonstrators and police. You can see some of the tear gas, or if you wait a couple of minutes, you'll see a lot of tear gas running in. The demonstrators have also been lighting fires. Uh, according to organizers, more than two million people nationwide have taken to the streets to oppose this, this law uh, that changed the retirement age from 62 to 64. The law hasn't been implemented yet, and the reason they are trying to bring this country to a standstill is to prevent the law from being implemented. But so far, the government is showing no signs of backing down. Macron and his supporters say that this change is necessary because if they keep going as uh, the way things are, they will not be able to afford the current pension system. But people here say they will continue to uh, to demonstrate. Uh, organizers from different uh, uh, organizers from, uh, from from labor unions say. In addition to taking to the streets, they will also try to cut the electricity for several upcoming events, including the French Open. They want to block the uh, the construction sites at the, uh, at the for the Olympics, and they also want to cut the power to the Cannes Film Festival. Uh, here, there have been clashes, but in other areas further from here, the mood has generally been quiet, generally festive. Uh, organizers say that there are about 500,000 people on the streets here in Paris alone although the police numbers are far lower than that. Andrea? Richard, is it normally a holiday? Is May Day a holiday there, or are these people all just out as protesters out on the streets? No, no, this is generally a holiday here, and there are demonstrations in, in many cities across the country. Uh, and and it, this is a traditional time when people from labor unions come out into the streets. Uh, yes, I'm being told that the police could charge in this direction, so we need to watch out. But yes, it is a holiday, uh, and, and because of this traditional Labor Day holiday, more people are coming out, particularly this year, to call attention uh, to the uh, to the new uh, to the new uh, to the new lawn. If you just look over here, some of the tear gas is just just coming in. I'm sorry. One more time. Yeah, Richard. Let me let me let you go. I I know you've got to move. I think I'm not sure you can hear me. Okay, Richard. Thank you very much. The crowd's beginning to move. Thank you.